Uh, this is a problem. So, uh, I'm making my mom farm over here, and I thought, alright, I'd be fine doing it at night. Didn't occur to me that um, things would spawn back at my base. I'm kind of afraid to go back there now. <laughs> uh. Hey, folks. My name is Phil Dre, and we are back in Primal Skies. So, taking a quick look around here, you may notice that this looks a little different than before. Um, so what happened was the official server for the pack went up, and I decided since I hadn't gotten too far in it yet, um, that I would try playing on the server. So, I redid everything basically up to the point where I last recorded, um, so all that's the same. Also, I now have a chicken friend. <laughs> Because I accidentally uh, threw an egg on the ground when I didn't mean to, and then suddenly chicken. So, I have a chicken friend. So, uh, about the only thing that's different is that I now have that um, uh, uh, mob spawner. That's what it's called. And as you can see, like you'll see um, other people on the uh, in chat and such. So, hopefully, no one says anything too bad. I don't. I don't think so because there's there's actually several people who are also recording their videos on here. So where we were at was, uh, right. I the only thing I hadn't done was kill a bunch of zombies. So this quest is done, but the rest of the stuff is about where I was before. So I think I'm kind of stuck here, but uh, I realized that more stuff now opened over here. Oh, yeah, and I don't have a. They, they gave out um, uh, Lexica Patanias now when you spawn on the server. I lost mine because I got into a death loop because uh, it was so silly. I, ha I had my little island here and I was... Hi, chicken. I was growing my tree on a, a piece of dirt over this water pool. Well, the spawn, the default spawn, you can change it, is in this water pool. <laughs> so the tree was there. So I kept, I kept falling, uh, yeah, I, so I fell into the void accidentally, and then when I respawned, I fell into the void again, and then again, and <laughs> so I had to come over and change my spawn point, and despite the fact that there are tombstones in this, uh, in this pack, I somehow managed to lose my Lexico Batania, so that's no longer there. I don't know, I don't know exactly what happened to it. Anyways, yes, so I think if we look at the other things here, yes, these are all empty. Oh, oh, storage options. Uh, ooh, simple storage networks. I like that one. But that's going to require going to the nether, which I think that's something we can do. Also, I like storage drawers. Storage drawers are my favorite. Xnet. I've I've only played with that one a little bit, and of course there's refined storage, but that's that's like that's further along. I, th I think simple storage networks will do for the moment. Well, once we get to the Nether, uh, yes. So I think next thing we got to do is uh, get started in Botania. So this should be interesting. So we need a petal apothecary. Let's. Oh, we got some. Guys over here, let me go murder them. We got a zombie. And I got the skelly next to him. There we go. They seem to drop um Yeah, there's the gloom if you're if you're under if you're under blocks for too long, I guess. There we go. I don't know what the gloom does, it just makes sound effects in the background. Come on, there we go. Yes, so as you can see, we got like pulverized iron and pulverized copper. So those guys drop just little bits. So it's good to come over here and smack them every once in a while. Uh, where's my storage again? Oh, there it is. Throw those in there. And the only reason I have this here is because I accidentally put it down and I don't have a pick yet. So <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to get to that point. So. Yes, Petal Apothecary, which requires... What, what is it to make a Petal Apothecary again? 
Okay, so we're gonna need cobblestone, cobblestone slabs, and uh huh. How am I gonna get a pedal? That's gonna be a problem. Um maybe. Oh, what's it? floral fertilizer? Can I make that? Oh, I can make it out of some roots. Okay. Uh, I think I may need some more. Ooh, give me your feather. I think I may need some more dirt. Uh, I don't have much, so let me go ahead and make some more dirt, and we can see if we can get a uh, a place I can spawn flowers on. I just got a diamond from Bird's Nest. Yay! So, yeah, the uh, the one from, obviously, my single player was lost. <laughs> you know, if there's one thing I don't like about this pack is that making dirt is very tedious. Um, because you can't stack these bowls of water. If you could do that, it would be, I don't know, so much easier. Maybe that's just me complaining, because I like, I, I kind of like, um... I like things to be hard, I don't like them to be tedious. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, anyways, I got a bunch of dirt now, and as you can see, I'm trying to like grow it out uh, into like a grass area over here. And oop, missed, missed, missed some leaves there. How many is that? I could make some more, some more dirt out of that, I think. And then I'm hoping that I'll be able to grow botania flowers on this. That should be good for now. So the floral fertilizer. Uh, right, can be made out of living roots. So that's exactly what I need. Uh, I'll just go with one for now and I hope I really hope that this works on dirt. I can't remember if it does. Oh, it does! Excellent! Okay, so we got some flowers going. Okay, so let's break one, two, three, and four. There we go. So, uh, oh yes, we need to make the Pell Apothecary. Um, can I also make a flower pouch so I don't have to, like, carry these around? Uh, oh, I need wool. <laughs> I do not have- I don't even have a bed. Never mind making some wool. Um, uh, yeah, we won't- we won't worry about the flower pouch then. Uh, okay. So, oh, I'm gonna need cobble. Where's my cobble? There we go. I'm going to need some cobble slabs. And oh I can't shift click into this one. This one I can. Uh okay, so Petal Apothecary. Oh can you oh I see you're gonna use a mushroom. Okay, well uh let's go ahead and use the gray one. I really can't remember which ones are, are more important when it comes to making stuff. Okay, petal apothecary. Oh, we got some guys over there. Let me just go murder them. Well, that's interesting. I got a soul gem from uh, Silence Gems. Okay, I'll have to... I'll store that for later. Right, so... Uh, I, mean, I don't... I haven't really gotten any food yet. Um, I don't even know if there's like a, uh, a flint hoe I can make. Um, let me check. Flint. Oh, there's a flint hoe. Oh, can I just make a wood hoe? That'll be easier. Nope. Nope, I can't make that. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I could plant some seeds, but... I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Anyway, so, right. Um, 
So we completed that quest. Next one is Pure Daisy. Uh, oh, I hope the recipe's in here because again, I don't have my book. Pure Daisy is four white petals in there. Okay, I haven't gotten any white petals yet, so um, I guess I'm going to need more floral fertilizer? Or what can I make floral fertilizer out of? Oh, I could use I guess I could use the dyes, although they all have to be the same, don't they? Yes. So that's not gonna work in this case. Okay, I'll make... Make some more of this. I guess I could make some bone meal, maybe, and try to grow grass. No, let's stick with this for now. Oh, we got two purples. That, that'll work. Oh, and two... Oh no, these are different ones. So the light blue. This is the cyan. Okay. Uh, okay, so we can make some floral fertilizer out of the purples. So let me do that. Might take us a while to actually get uh, any white days, any white ones growing here. Oh yes, yeah. so in order to make some bone meal uh, from the bone, we're going to need uh, some sort of rocks plus our pebbles, pebbles work, uh, plus the bone, plus this stone basin, which is made out of stone, uh, which I do not have. So let me go ahead and, oh, I do have, never mind, I have three stone. Okay, let's make another three. There we go. I thought ahead. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, okay, so let's grab some pebbles. And we will make this stone basin. We'll put in, um, I'll put in two bones for now. And then I think you, I think it consumes the pebble. This thing's kind of weird. The server is kind of off. Oh, yeah, it does consume the pebble when you do that. That's fine. We have like unlimited pebbles. Uh, what if I use one of these bone meals on here? What is this going to do? Okay, so it needs to be grass. It's not going to do it on the dirt. So I'll just have to wait for that and then I'll break this so I can at least get the poppy out of it. Ah, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and make ourselves some floral fertilizer. Oh, that makes three. That's good. Okay. Cross your fingers that uh, that we get that we get some uh, more flowers here. Right. Be lucky and get some white ones. Oh, ah, yes, we got a white one. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna use the rest of this floral fertilizer to see. Oh, yeah, okay, we get a second one. Perfect. And another gray one. So, if I remember correctly, you can take these and you can bury the petals. Let me let me see here. Okay, yeah, and then if you use... Oh, yeah. Okay, then, yeah. Then if you use bone meal on it, you get a tall version. So let me just break that. And then that should get me more petals, I believe. Yes, that gives me four petals. Okay, so now I have plenty of the of the white ones. So I can go ahead and put this down. So, my island's kind of getting a little crowded here. Put it down right there. Oh, I'm gonna need water. That's right. Uh oh. How how am I gonna get water out of? Can I use this? Oh, I can use that. Okay. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's full. Okay. Uh, 
Do I have any extra slabs so I can actually walk up to this thing? I do. Okay. Put a slab there. Oops. Ah, good enough. One. How does this work again? It's been a while. Oh, that's right. I just throw them in. So if I go... One, two, three, four. Oh, and then add some seeds. Okay, I think I have some seeds in here. I have one seed. <laughs> My precious... Uh, no, no, this isn't for you. This, this is important. I need this for, for this. Uh, right, and then I throw it in. There we go, got our pure daisy. Okay. So now... Now we need evil pumpkin. This evil pumpkin combined with iron bars can produce some pretty crazy results. Make sure to have an area that is fireproof. Uh, place a fell pumpkin on two vertically stacked iron bars to spawn a blaze. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll figure something out for that. Uh, yeah, we'll worry about that later. I really want to get to the nether. So, okay, so we're going to need to smelt up some iron. Have I even gotten enough iron yet? Let me... Iron bars. Is this a different recipe than before? No, I'm going to need six iron. I have eight. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and smelt these all up, actually. Take those out, put that in. Go kill some things while that's smelting. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That makes nuggets? What? Oh my god. How am I going to get more iron? Okay, hold. Let me, let me take these out. Uh, crap. How am I supposed to do the, uh... Uh, I think I'm supposed to do the Kitsu way. Okay, so... But how do I do that? Unless I'm just supposed to get that much iron. Okay, so I think I figured it out. So I need to get... I need to make this thatch in order to make the adobe brick. So I'm gonna need grass. So I'm going to have to uh, grow some grass over here, I guess. Uh, I wish this was a bigger area. I also have to use my shears on it. So where's my bone meal? This is going to take a while. <laughs> oh, I was going to use up so much bone meal. Wait, what? That that grass stayed there. That's interesting. So the bone meal does not work on the on the actual grass bits here. So I guess I just have to sit and wait until they grow back. Which is kind of boring. I <sighs> Also what would you do if you ac if you accidentally or just you know, just destroyed your glass? your grass block not realizing you need it, you'd be just screwed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I, I just realized I am literally waiting for grass to grow. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I've got enough grass that I can finally make two of the fresh thatching. Um, and I will put them on my drawing racks I put over here. I'll just right click onto there. Uh, these drying racks, by the way, are a uh, jungle. Um, yeah, some wood planks, some twine, uh, these slats, which are used by uh, using a saw on. So use saw on a slab to get the thin slabs. Uh, then use a saw on the thin slab to get the slats. Um, and then the pins are easy. It's just using your work blade on a stick. Uh, and the reason 
I put these on sand if it's the same as I remember before. Putting them on sand means things dry faster here. So now we play the waiting game again. <laughs> uh, actually, one thing I need to do. I need to make the brick forms. So what do we need for that? Um, brick form. There we go. Which is a bunch of the split logs, which I happen to have some right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make two sets, I guess. I guess I can only do one, but I'll, I'll do two. I have I have the mouse slats and I'll just... Or uh, split logs, I'll throw those back in there. And uh, ooh, another piece of grass. Let's take that. And oh, I can make another set of thatching. Let's dry out. There we go. Oop, that's not fly off the edge. Put those on there. Yeah. So now we wait. Uh, I'll stick these. Over here, I guess. And, uh, uh, fire! Fire bad! Oh, it's a torch. The torch set me on fire. <laughs> okay, you gotta watch out for the torches. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back hopefully once the thatching dries. Which hopefully will be soon. So, I've been waiting a little bit. Um, I just, uh, oops, let's not run to the torch, and I ran to the torch anyways. <laughs> Uh, let me just get these here. So I remembered that um, uh, the drying racks also, I think they also benefit from having a torch close by. So hopefully that'll speed that up because it's it's still taking its time. Uh, I just got enough grass to make another set. So we'll go ahead and put that down over here. There we go. Please. please. Please dry faster. <laughs> you're without chicken here, you're gonna get caught in the fire. So I expanded my eye a little bit, made a little, little big, bit bigger area for uh, trees to grow here. But more importantly, we finally have a single piece of dried thatching. Oh my god, we just got another! Yay! Okay, let's replace those. All right, so. That is two pieces which we can now turn into the adobe mix. So we're going to need uh, mud clumps. So we're going to need to uh, fill. You know, I have enough for two. I'm going to go ahead and make two. Let's do that. So that cha Oh no, sorry. First I need to make the mud. Like so. So one. Uh, yeah, one for now is good. Yeah, actually, yeah, I don't need that. I don't need the second bowl then, that's right. So let's empty that. Uh, so we do the thatching plus two mud equals the mix. And now we can put it inside the molds. And then these have to dry. <laughs> so... I will uh, bring you back once those have dried. Oh, we got another dry thatching here. Yay! Thank goodness. So that, I like that it's raining because, you know, we get more water in these barrels here. But uh, I was also putting out the torches. So I went ahead and put these uh, spruce slats above the, above the torches. And I think that should stop it from... I think it should stop them from going out because of the rain. So hopefully that works. I'm, uh, I think I'm still waiting on these. Sure. Taking their time. Oh, there we go. One just changed. So the other should... Hopefully... Oh. Yeah, one more. And then I think... I think I have to break these to get them out. Let me... Oh, no, I can right-click. Okay, good. Or shift right-click. Just need... Okay. Dry, please. Oh, let me put some more Adobe Mix in there because I'm going to need that. Can I can I go like this to get out? Yes, I can. I'll put that in there. 
You're gonna hit one of these days, chicken. Alright, so I'm still gonna need more bricks. So this is gonna take some time. <gasps> is that our first Enderman? Yes! You just you just stay there, Mr. Enderman, and you you give me an Ender Pearl, please. Pretty please. Yes! Alright. Oh, it's a zombie villager. Well, that zombie villager is gonna die. Alright, so I've managed to gather up uh, 24 of this dry adobe brick. So I think that should be enough uh, for me to make all the pieces I need for Kitsu's here. So I'm gonna need the forge, which I'm gonna need, to need, oops, I'm gonna need a furnace for. I need some cobble. Uh, let me just see if I need anything else. Nope, that's just gonna require that. I'm gonna need casting block, which is gonna require some kind of slab, which I can use. Uh, where do I? Oh, here we go. I've slab right there. Perfect. Did I get any casting block? What does what does the quest say? Um. Bloomery Forge and two pistons. Okay, well yeah, I'll make those then. And okay, so I'm gonna need sticks and wood. Like that. Uh, all my sticks. And wood. Uh, saw. Oh, I have my saw. Okay, good. So I will turn all of this into planks. There we go. Okay, so first thing. I'm gonna need to make this. To make the forge. Then we're going to need to make the bloomery. Alright, I only need the one. And then we're going to need two of the spruce billows. So one, two. Get that out. There we go, that's that quest complete. Ah, uh, yeah, there's like a whole thing going on this. Um. Oh, that's right, I'm gonna need crucibles. So. Um. Is that listed here? Crucibles? Empty crucible. You have to like. Nope, that's, that's not it. I'm, I'm just gonna search. What was it soft crucible? Yeah, that one. Okay, so that's gonna require uh, mud or clay. So, I, d oh, I do have mud left. Okay, Let's go with mud then. Uh, I'm actually gonna make a couple of these because I know I'm going to need more of them. Um, four. Sure. I'll make all four. There we go. So, let me find a place to put this stuff. I don't need that right now. Um, Let's put it over in this corner, actually. So, uh, if I remember correctly, get that out of the way, get that out of the way. So the bloomery is what's going to make the different kinds of metals. And if I put it this way, yeah. So the bellow attaches to that notch there. If I put this down like this, is that the right way? Um, no, it is not. Okay. Because I think, if I remember correctly, the handle needs to face me. So if I put it here... Yes, that is correct. Okay, so and then if I put this here and this here, that should be correct. Uh, I'm just gonna. I really need to make a <laughs> a way to get up there. 
Let me get some of my wooden slabs here. And we're going to make a place to go up there. And I'm going to make a little area here. You know, I'll just leave that one there. I don't want to deal with getting rid of it there. Okay, so. Uh, I also need a torch on this side, I just realized. So let me set that up. I'll put that down. And where are my torches? There we go. One torch. We'll put said torch. Um, yeah, there will be fine. And that way that the grass block will protect it from the rain. I don't need this then. So if we want to get started in Kitsu's, um, I'm going to need, I need a couple things here. Right, let me, let me just check to see what this has next. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, tools of the trade. So, I'm going to need stone tongs. Um, tong, there we go. Uh, so what this requires? This needs to be stone, a uh, piece of string, and a couple sticks. So I have all that. A string, two stone, put it in here. There is the uh, stone tongs. Okay. Is this it's going to detect the stuff that I already have, please? Yes, it does. Okay, good. Uh, right. Oh, I need... Apparently I have to make a iron cauldron. Before it'll let me make the pick? What? So, I still need to get to... Um, I still need to get to the nether. Right. Uh, okay, so first things first, though. I need to process... Because I think I can only do... Let me look up crucibles. When I played it before, there was only... That's not how you spell it. There was only uh, certain kinds of metals you could make here. So let's see. So there's... You have bronze. Uh, different kinds of bronze. There's iron. More kinds of bronze. Um... Clean iron, yeah. There's steel woots. The heck is this? Uh I have no idea what that is. Oh, it looks like it's from a broken tool or something. Anyways, yeah, so uh for the moment I'm just gonna go ahead and process the iron that I have. Okay, so we're going to need, we're going to need coal, or charcoal. Um, we're also going to need, um, oh, something to start it. So let me throw this away. And that, I don't need that right now. For the wood. And we'll get that fire bow out. Uh, I'm actually just going to, I'll put that back in there and I'll break that into two. Thank you for your egg. Throw that in there. Okay. So we're going to put this in there. And you can actually you can actually see it at the bottom there. And that's gonna go on there. So we're going to start this up. Oh, there we go. And that started to... I'm not going to jump on them because uh, I know you get burned by them. So if I right click it, it says the current temperature and the fuel uh, that's remaining. Uh, yeah, this says the same thing with this. It just says 100, but it's basically that's the temperature. So uh, we're going to use the bellows to increase temperature. So now it's 150. So this 
each push of the bellows is going to be uh, 50 more degrees of whatever. I don't actually know what the temperature is supposed to be. <laughs> uh, and what we want to do is we want to stick in one of those crucibles. We want to fire this crucible. So it says that the current temperature is 475. The target temperature is 2000. So we've got a lot of cranking to do on this. Okay, so I finally uh, reached over 2,000, and the uh, the time is now going to tick down slowly. So I'm just going to give it another, maybe another one pump. Okay, so now this is, you don't want to go too much, much higher than the target temperature because it will, it will ruin whatever you're doing. So I'm just going to... Uh, let that go for a little bit. While I do that, I need to get uh, some more. I need to get some more gravel because I realize I don't really need the uh, um, the the other thing going, the forge. I think it's called a forge going. Okay, and this is done. So, um, oh yes, I'm going to need a. I think I can put this on gravel. Actually, let me just. Put this down here. I'm gonna need to use the tongs to pull out the uh, the crucible, and I think yes, I can put it on there. You can put uh, this on some sort of stone or gravel. Um, I think if you put it on anything else, it's it it does not like it. <laughs> so I'm going to put in the next crucible. There we go. Oh, that that was fast. Okay. <laughs> Apparently it's instantaneous. Um, uh, I don't have enough things here. Uh, let's put in the next one. Yeah, that's also instantaneous. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, good. That one cooled down. So once these are cooled down, you can take a pick that I do not have. Why? Why do I? Do, why do I not have a pick? Okay, hold on. Let me get some more gravel. There we go. One more piece of gravel. Now I'll put that there. Take out the last... Oh, no. Put that there. That's what I wanted. Yeah, so that's good. Take it out. And put it there. Yeah, so if I had a pick, I would break these. Um, because I don't, I'm going to have to make one. So let me go ahead and make a shovel and a pick here. Oh, thank goodness, they added a recipe that you can use the uh, the stone Gallagher on a, on gravel and get some flint. Um, so what do I need to make that again? I think I need stone. Yep, yeah, regular stone. Okay, so I have some more in here. Oop, let me grab these goodies from my friend the chicken. So I'm going to need this. And I'm going to need, here we go, one, two, three, no, four. And a couple sticks, one, two. Let's go ahead and make the stone gallagher then. There we go. Now, this is going to be so much easier than just breaking the stuff. Ah, oh, that is so much better. <laughs> Thank you guys for making that for making that recipe. That is that is so so much better. Okay, let's uh, get some pieces of flint here. Okay, there is one flint pick, and now we're going to need the shovel as well. There we go. Let's uh, that'll go there. I have I have a method of organizing my tools that I like to, that I like to have cross games. Okay, so we're gonna take these out with the shovel that pulls them back, and we're just we're just gonna leave that. It, I mean, it doesn't have any fuel in it. So, okay, so for this, uh, now what we want to do is I'm actually going to pull the charcoal out, and we're gonna break this. Because I want to do iron now, and if I were, there's a certain temperature that you want the iron. Or you can yeah, you can break these with a pickaxe. Um, and if you go to 
uh, too hot, you ruin the iron. It's, it's just, it's gone. And then we have a very limited supply of iron right now. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't want to do that, so let's put that back down. That way should be the correct way again. Uh, so I'm going to need... Actually, I'm going to go... Grab my other charcoal. I'm going to have to make some more. We will throw those in again. Now, we take the empty crucibles, and then we can combine them with the iron to make filled iron crucibles. So, let's go ahead and start this up again. There we go. And we can put our first one in. I need that right now. Um, so... Yeah, see, target temperature is 800. So let's go ahead and pump this up. Okay, we are now at uh, 825 and the uh, the time... Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. The temperature now is uh, 140. Okay, so we're going to have to go up there at 140 to uh, 1400. So that's what we're going to have to get to to actually melt the iron. I don't know why it said 800 to begin with. But whatever. I think it might have been 800 just to turn it into a hot iron crucible? Maybe? Okay, now we're at 1450 and the uh, the time is now counting down. So we just need to wait for that. In in my experience, you don't want to go more than like uh 100, 125 over the target temperature. Yeah, cuz if you go higher, that's just it's just going to be bad juju. So I'm just going to watch this and uh, wait for it to finish. Okay, so now it says there's no time remaining. So we're going to... That means it's done. So we're going to take out this here. Put it on the cobble. And we're going to let it cool. And we're going to go with our next one. I have to say that I, I like this, uh, this system. But it's... Because uh, it is rather immersive. Like this is what... This is how, kind of how you would actually make iron. It just takes a while, that, that's the only thing. But, I mean, that's trade-off. Okay, so this is now cooled, so I'm going to go ahead and break it. And what we got was an empty crucible and also a, a wrought iron ingot. Which we can use as a replacement in basically any, any sort of uh, recipe that requires iron. So I'm going to fill this up again. How's this doing here? Oops. All right, I need an empty hand in order to use this. Okay, this is done. Let me pull it out. Put it there. And we will stick in another. So while that is doing its thing, I think this is a good place to call the episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone.